Hi there, my name is Don Lawrence. I'm the CEO of STA Research and our platform is StockTargetAdvisor.com. I'm a financial analyst and a trader and uh, we often bring you uh, sort of uh, trending uh, sort of uh, topics and uh, stocks and today uh, and, and various ideas and today I'd like to, to talk specifically um, sort of about uh, analyst ratings and I'd like to talk about uh, some of the issues with them. Um, analyst ratings are very interesting. Obviously, as most people know, will say, you know, don't pay attention to them. They're always wrong. And in most cases, they are always wrong. But the thing is, we need to know what they are because we need to gauge sentiment. Um, so it's very important to know what analysts are saying because they can move a stock. And a very good example of that was this week on Snowflake. And Snowflake is, uh, you know, many of you know who follow. Uh, I, I like Snowflake, it's one of my favorite stocks, of course. Uh, a lot of people don't understand the valuation metrics of, it, of the company. One of the very interesting things about the company, which uh, very few people understand, is the company has very, very uh, almost nil uh, churn rate. So that means that they basically don't lose um, uh, clients uh, due to just to, to loss, like say Netflix with the subscribers. That's basically almost almost non-existent for, for Snowflake. So that really sort of changes uh, the sort of business model a bit. So obviously their growth just keeps continuing and continuing. Um, and like, um, you know, like Uber, if you want to sort of compare Snowflake and in, in essence to um, how they're spending for market share, uh, that's basically what Snowflake is, is doing at the moment. So they're spending large amounts of cash in order to sort of grow uh, their business, grow market share, kind of like uh, what uh, Uber did in the past uh, there, just in, with regards to, to that. Uh, so, so a lot of people don't understand and it's very hard for them to value uh, the company based on uh, on on those those uh, two um, things I just mentioned there. So let, let's talk the, uh, this week uh, what happened with Snowflake. We had a couple of analyst ratings coming on it, out on it. Um, we had um, uh, Barclays Capital maintaining the overweight rating and uh, raising the target to 210 uh, from 158. Uh, ourselves at STA Research, we uh, maintained our buy rating. We have a 215. Uh, target on the stock, which I think is like it's very very conservative. I think um, you know within the end of the year the stock could be uh, two fifty quite easy. Of course, we get uh, more downside pressure on the markets. You know uh, it can go down, but um, you know I do I do really like uh, the upside here. I think it's uh, very attractive. Um, and uh, one thing I will uh, sort of uh, full disclosure, I do have a long position in uh, Snowflake. So as I said, again, I like it and I do have a personally uh, a long position um, in the stock. Uh, of course, I do hedge uh, on, on, on the, the stock as well, but uh, uh, yeah, sort of hedge uh, to any downside risk. But uh, I do have a, a long position there as well. Um, and then we've also got Morgan Stanley maintaining their overweight rating, and they did cut the target to 274 from 295. Now, what I really want to talk about, I want to talk about UBS Securities, and they did downgrade the stock to neutral from a buy, and they did actually, funny enough, raise the target from the previous one uh, to 175 from 165. Now, the reason why I want to talk about UBS Securities because they downgraded to neutral, and that sank the stock uh, significantly. Um, on the announcement of that downgrade. And then you've got that that uh, rating um, and coinciding with it, you've got Barclays Capital, which is very bullish uh, with a 210 target. You've got Morgan Stanley with an overweight rating coming in at 274. Um, and then you've got this, this sort of out of the sort of range uh, analysts downgrading the stock and then the stock drops. So this is this is the perfect example for me of basically uh, analyst manipulation. And a lot of people don't like talking about it. It's sort of a, a raw, touchy subject. But this to me is a great example of an analyst manipulation that they're trying to come out saying, oh, we're a bit concerned about the business. You know, it looks like it's gonna be slowing down. Hit it with a downgrade. And obviously it's got, uh, th there's a purpose, there's a reason uh, you know, behind that, uh, it's hard to gauge what it is, but it's definitely looks like a form of manipulation. They're trying to buy in, trying to create a dip for, for an entry. Um, anyways, guys, uh, so, so that's my, my, uh, concern here. 
Um, and that's why on, on uh, StockTargetAdvisor.com, we do have user and crowd ratings. We do encourage that. We think it's a far better gauge um, of a, um, than the uh, analyst uh, uh, targets and ratings. And uh, for example, currently on Snowflake, we do have the average analyst target is uh, 236 and the average user or crowd target is 308. Uh, both, uh, funny enough, both the analysts and uh, users have a um, uh, sort of exact same strong buy uh, rating on, on that uh, stock there. So they agree on, on that, but uh, the target uh, obviously is higher for the crowd, which, which could, be a, uh, could be a little bit high. But generally speaking, um, you know, what we've experienced is that uh, the crowd user targets are far more accurate. Uh, than the analyst targets. So that that's going forward. I think that's very, you know, uh, I can encourage people uh, to come to our site to 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 give user uh, crowd targets on on the, the stocks that you follow because it's very important to sort of to stop those um, You know when those analysts come out and and they do a downgrade or target change and you have this sort of whipsaw action That's not really fundamentally how the markets are supposed to function and and obviously um, you know, the sort of uh, uh, the business operations don't, you know, decline uh, the value 10% in one day. It's not justified just on, on what one analyst's opinion is. So that's why I say crowd ratings uh, from a whole range of investors is very important. Anyways, guys, let me know what you think. Do you think uh, sometimes uh, analyst ratings are manipulated? Do you trust them? um are they are they worth noting anyways guys i uh, really appreciate you checking checking this out um we're for informed investing we're just trying to uh, sort of expand the range of our thoughts and the ideas and and uh sort of challenge questionable things that we see um anyways guys i uh, hope to see you soon uh remember your best trade is ahead cheers guys